hello friends welcome back to my channel today's flow is going to be what i call a little around the world we're going to be facing all four sides of our mat so settle in in a seated position when you're ready hands facing down on your legs for more grounding or palms facing the sky for energizing close off the eyes and just start to draw your attention inward to the breath start to lengthen your inhales and exhales and just notice how your body is feeling right now. Take a little check in before we start moving so that you can make this practice your own. feel ready to move take left ear to left shoulder feeling a stretch across the side of the neck and then let it come back through center right ear to right shoulder and as you move side to side you can let the weight of your head make a little sway in your upper body moving as slowly as you would like to moving with the breath just doing this as it feels good. You can let the chin roll to the chest as you go side to side. Let the spine move naturally. Just feeling the neck loosen up and lengthen. Inhale, arms to the sky, let the palms meet. And as we exhale, we're gonna take a little twist to the left. So right hand comes to the outside of my left knee. Place the other hand behind you on the mat and glance back over the left shoulder. Just take this gentle at first. Inhale to sit up a bit taller and exhale to see if you can twist a bit further. Exhale to release the twist. Inhale, arms up high. This time twisting towards the right. Right arm behind you. Left hand on the right knee. Trying to keep this spine nice and tall. Just a gentle twist to begin with. and exhale release the twist come back to center now we're gonna take a little cat and cow here so pulling against my knees curving out my spine chin to chest and then inhale as I bring the chest forward between my shoulders moving between these two positions inhaling as we bring the chest forward exhale as we push away to curve out the spine just move fluidly here going with your own breath doing what feels good and then take the spine in these little circular motions. Again, doing whatever feels best for your body to get your spine nice and warm. Then bring the weight forward onto hands and knees, tuck the toes and take the tailbone high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hands are about short shoulder width apart. Feet are about hip width apart. You can take a bend in the knee here as it's our first one of the practice and just focus on lengthening out the spine really pressing through both palms and both balls of the feet you can walk out the dog alternate straightening and bending each leg from here we're going to take that cat curve of the spine to bring our weight forward over the hands to a high plank so chin to chest and then as we go back we're going to arch the back bend in the knees and return to downward facing dog so inhaling forward, cat back, and exhaling back through cow back, arching out the back. Just taking these spinal waves as slowly as you would like and do as many as feel good. Settle back into your downward facing dog and try to find some stillness here. Focusing on the breath. 
on an inhale, bring the weight forward to high plank, and then walk the hands back to meet your feet at the back of the mat. Trying to keep this leg straight as long as possible. And then hang heavy in your forward fold. You can bend the knees, sway side to side, grab opposite elbows if it feels good to just hang heavy with the top of the head. Inhale to rise halfway up, straighten out the spine, and exhale to fold back down. Inhale as we bring the weight forward, walking the hands back out to our high plank. And then exhale, this time we're walking the feet up to the hands. Tiptoe, keeping the legs straight as long as we can. And forward fold at the top of our mat. Nod the head yes and no. Wiggle out the hips. Alternate straightening each leg. Inhale, halfway rise to straighten the spine and exhale to fold. Inhale, interlace the fingers at the back of the head and bend the knees to roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time till we reach the top. And then as we exhale, take cactus with the arms, elbows out wide, lifting the gaze towards the ceiling, a little arch in the back. Inhale, extended mountain, arms to the sky and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant the hands, step back to your high plank. You can always drop to the knees to modify. And exhale as we lower down through chaturanga. Inhale, up to your cobra or upward facing dog. In upward facing dog, the only things touching the feet are hands and tops of the feet. Exhale, downward facing dog, take the hips high, tuck the toes. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. We're going to stack this right ankle over our left as we bring the weight forward to high plank. Inhale here, exhale to push up chaturanga style, and then up to three-legged dog again. Exhale, knee to nose to bring the foot forward, step in between the hands. Inhale to rise up to high lunge, arms to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, rotate the back heel down, stack hips and shoulders, arms are out at T. Inhale to reverse the warrior, send the breath into that right side body, right arm reaches to the sky. And exhale to side angle, so bring right elbow to right knee, left arm extends up over the head, gaze underneath the left arm. Inhale, warrior two, rising back up, stacking the shoulders over the hips. Arms come back to a T. And then exhale as we windmill the arms down, left hand comes to the mat, right arm to the sky, and this dragonfly twist towards our lunge. Then bringing right hand to the mat and bringing weight through center to wide fold. So you can pigeon toe the feet, so toes are slightly more inward than the heels and then press the palms into the mat to really pull your torso downward, feeling the stretch on the inner thigh and low back. Inhale up to a flat back, fingertips, and walk the hands towards the back of the mat, left foot, taking a low lunge here, lowering right knee to the mat, and then pressing back to a half split, straightening left leg and bending, folding over. You wanna keep the spine nice and long. You can always use a block here if the mat feels too far away. On an exhale, we're going to bring the weight back through our low lunge, and then lift off the back leg, exhale, warrior three. You can airplane out the arms to the sides, squaring off the hips towards the floor and then bring hands to heart center exhale as you bend both knees curling inwards and inhale as we extend back to warrior three exhale bend in inhale extend exhale curling in 
inhale extend lower slowly the back leg down and come into a high lunge take an inhale here exhale as you plant the hands step back to your high lunge exhale through your chaturanga inhale through up dog or cobra exhale downward facing dog keeping with the right leg inhale three leg dog right leg to the sky exhale as you stack it over the left ankle bring the weight forward to high plank push up back to three leg dog inhale here exhale as you bring the knee forward step between the hands inhale high lunge exhale warrior two open up the hips tee out the arms gaze over the front hand inhale reverse the warrior right arm to the sky exhale back through warrior two into your side angle try not to dump too much weight into this elbow using the obliques to keep the torso up above the leg inhale back to warrior two Exhale, windmill the arms down, left hand to the floor, right arm to the sky. Bring hands through center, wide legged fold. Pressing through the palms to deepen the stretch or grabbing ankles. Inhale to release and walk the hands towards the left foot back towards the top of the mat into the low lunge drop the right knee and exhale half split inhale here exhale bring the weight forward warrior three airplane out the arms square off the hips inhale hands to heart center exhale bend the knees curling in inhale extend exhale bend inhale warrior three exhale bending inhale extending exhale bending through the standing leg inhale high lunge exhale hands frame the foot step back to high plank Take your chaturanga, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three legged dog, left leg to the sky. Exhale, stack the ankles, chaturanga push up. Inhale, back to three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, step in between the hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale into the front body as we reverse the warrior. Left arm reaches to the sky. Exhale, side angle pose, left elbow to left knee. Right arm extends over the head, gaze underneath the right arm. Nice long line along the right side. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, windmill the arms down to the floor, right palm, come to the mat, left hand to the sky. Exhale, bring both hands to the mat, walking them through center in your wide-legged fold. Pigeon the toes, press the palms into the mat. Option to grab the ankles with the hands and pull the torso towards the legs, keeping the weight up in the balls of the feet. Inhale to release the stretch, walk the hands towards the right foot, bend into the lunge, place back knee on the mat, 
and then bring the weight back onto the knee for half split. Flexing the right foot, keeping that leg active and feeling the stretch in the hamstring. Nice long spine. Exhale as you bring the weight forward, airplane out the arms, warrior three. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, bending both knees. Inhale to extend warrior three. Exhale, bend. Inhale to extend, keeping the hips square towards the floor. Exhaling in. Inhaling to extend, straighten both legs. Bend into the standing leg. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, take your vinyasa. Inhaling, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Staying on the left side. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, take your chaturanga push up. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, step through the hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two, opening up the hips, stacking the shoulders over hips. Inhale into the front body, reverse warrior, reaching up towards the sky, and taking a little bit more of an arch towards the back leg. Exhale, side angle pose, left elbow to left knee. Right arm extends overhead. If you want to challenge yourself, take the elbow off and reach forward with that arm using the obliques. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, windmill the arms down to the floor. Plant right palm, left hand to the sky. Take both hands to the mat. Walk your weight to the center and take your wide-legged fold. Seeing if you can go a bit deeper this time, challenging yourself as we've spent a lot of time here this practice. Inhale to release the stretch here, coming up halfway and walking the hands towards the right leg. Deep lunge, plant the left knee on the mat, push the weight back to half split. Inhale to extend the spine, exhale to fold over the extended leg. Inhale to prepare and exhale, bringing the weight forward, shooting up to your warrior three. Hands to heart center. Exhale as we bring both knees to a bend. Inhale to extend, warrior three. Exhaling in, inhale to extend. Each time making sure the hips are square. Exhaling and inhaling to extend one last time. Bend into the standing leg, inhale, high lunge. Exhale to plant the hands, step the foot back through high plank. Take your vinyasa and meeting back in downward facing dog. Take the knees to the floor, knees about as wide as the mat, big toes together and push back into this wide child's pose. Take a moment here to find the breath if you've lost it. Reconnect to your inhales and exhales, slow the heart rate a bit and rest the body. On an inhale, walk the hands in towards the body. Come back to a seated position. Rise up onto the knees and take a big step forward the right foot into a low lunge. Sweep the arms forward up high to the sky, taking a steeple grip. So point your fingers together, interlacing the rest of the fingers. 
staying here upright if it feels good. If you want to take it a little bit further, arching into the back, taking the gaze to the ceiling, opening up the front of the body. Exhale the hands back toward the mat. Tuck the back toes, lift up into your low lunge position. Then press into the feet and rise up into high lunge, sweeping the arms up by the ears. Keeping a bend in that front leg. From there, straighten into both legs and forward fold into your pyramid here. You might have to shorten your stance a little bit, adjust as necessary. You can always use blocks if the mat feels far away when you're folding. Just do what works best for your body. The feet are on train tracks here, so parallel, not on a tight rope. Fold as much as you can to open up this hamstring. And see if you can pick up the front foot, place it in the back and into your downward facing dog. Lifting left leg, see if you can place it in between the front hands, straightening both legs into your pyramid on the other side. Both heels reaching towards the mat. Inhale to rise up to standing, taking the torso out long, and then bending into the front leg, find your high lunge. Slowly bend into the back knee until the right knee meets the mat. Taking a steeple grip with the hands, and then see if you can take the gaze to the ceiling, opening up the front body and the chest deepening the lunge and coming back to your neutral spine exhaling hands to the floor pushing back over the back knee and taking the left foot back both knees on the mat from here take whatever way you'd like to find your weight on your back on the mat you can roll up into a ball take a few spinal rolls whatever feels best and then we're going to take a figure four stretch right ankle over left knee and then reaching through our, that open window in our legs to grab the back of the left thigh or you can also grab the front of the left shin whatever works for your body we're just trying to keep all of our spine on the mat and pulling this towards our chest so we can really open up in the hips try to find some stillness here and focus on the breath Close off the eyes if you're comfortable. Flexing the feet keeps the legs active and the hips active as well. Exhale to release the legs. Take that right leg up to the sky to reset the hip and then let the sole of the foot find the mat. This time taking left ankle over right knee, reaching through that open window and grabbing behind the right leg, pulling towards the chest, breathing deep into these hips, keeping the feet flexed and trying to find stillness here. Slowly release the legs, take the left foot to the sky, and then slowly let that foot meet the mat. With both soles of the feet planted, 
and fingertips reaching towards the heels. We're going to press the arms into the mat and soles of the feet into the mat, lifting the hips into bridge pose. We want to keep space in between the chest and the chin here. If the back feels okay, go ahead and activate the glutes to lift the torso or you can take the hands underneath you to support. If you're feeling strong, you can interlace the fingers and wiggle the shoulder blades off the mat, binding the arms underneath you. Slowly exhale as you release the arms and let the bum meet the mat. Take the knees in towards the chest, hugging them tight around the shins. You can lift the head to squeeze in. Then taking the arms in between the legs and holding the pinky toe edges of the feet. Exhale into your happy baby pose. You use the biceps to pull the knees towards the armpits. Keep the feet flexed and flat like you're trying to put footprints on the ceiling. You can take a little wiggle side to side here if it feels nice or just find stillness. Releasing the hips once again. Slowly release the stretch. Let the feet meet the mat. You can wiggle out the hips, wind, windshield wiper, the knees. Take any other postures that your body feels that it needs at this time before you settle down, slowly making your way to your Shavasana. You can take the legs out long and arms to your sides. If your lower back is ever bothered in Shavasana, you can take the knees bent feet about as wide as the mat and let the knees fall together. Shavasana is a time for our nervous system to reset after we've had a very active physical practice. We quiet the body so that we can tune into the mind. If you have thoughts that pop up, good or bad, just let them come. Don't try to push anything away. This is a great time for a little meditation but try to imagine that those thoughts are like cars on a passing train. You let them come, you see them, and then you let them go and move on. Clearing your mind of anything extremely negative or extremely positive, viewing things in a neutral way, and tapping back into your breath, letting your exhales and inhales fall back into your natural rhythm. Close off the eyes if you're comfortable and stay here for as long as it serves you. When you're ready to awaken the body, start wiggling the toes, touching fingertips to your thumb, bringing awareness back into your extremities. Maybe take the arms up above the head and take a big long stretch, waking up all parts of the body, 
and then making your way over to one side in a fetal lying position keeping the eyes closed if it suits you when you're ready using your hands to push yourself up slowly to a sitting position I hope you've enjoyed today's flow the light in me honors and respects the light in you Namaste.